So many have asked about what's going to happen with the Secret Service and the pretty obvious scandal they're involved in because the behavior coming out of that institution is uh, looking pretty corrupt. You know, that all of a sudden these texts have disappeared and the explanation they're giving is uh, quite poor to say the least. I was struck by reading uh, Professor Heather Cox Richardson who said that in her opinion the Secret Service must have concluded that taking the heat for this blatant lie would be better than revealing the texts. That's probably what it is. But either way, the pressure is unlikely to subside because it's looking to me like the uh, powers that be as represented by the January 6th Committee, Department of Justice, and so on, are getting pretty serious about finding out just what was going on then and building a, a case around all of the information. And so when you look at the U.S. chart to try to understand what might be going on, if I'm going to place the Secret Service somewhere in the chart, I would go to the 12th sign where, in fact, the secret sign is located as well, Scorpio. Then I know that Pluto and Mars rule the 12th sign. And so we know that Neptune in its transit is still challenging that Mars, which is a pretty accurate reflection of a situation where lying and deceiving is going on. That's the Neptune in its square to Mars, right? opposing itself, squaring Mars. And that's due to begin to abate as we go into next year and the year after, but it's definitely still in play. And meanwhile, the Pluto return, Pluto as the other ruler of Scorpio, is also a reflection of what is going on in there. But we'd have to say Pluto return signifies an overhaul, big changes, new beginnings, end of a chapter. And so I would not be surprised one bit if this situation results in a major overhaul of the Secret Service while simultaneously putting them through a lot of pain, well-deserved pain, on account of what they did uh, back in uh, 2020 and 2021.